G'day guys, this is the Booze Review Channel, the channel where we review the booze. Today's episode, we'll be reviewing good old Victoria Bitter, or VB as they all call it. So, I've even got a nice glass here to pour it in, so let's just give this a little uh, crack open, shall we? Sounds good, nice hiss. Just going to pour into this glass. I think that was uh, that one was poured a bit better than the last one. What do you reckon? <laughs> Even though I did pour it better this time, the head's already disappeared. So, oh well, it is what it is. So this is 4.9%, 1.47 drinks per bottle. Uh, so it's a full strength lager, Australian style lager. And uh, yeah, uh, VB. What's the what else is to say about it, mate? It's uh, this is an Aussie icon right here. So respect it. Anyway, I'm going to stop fucking talking shit and give this a little go. Mm. Right off the bat there, you get some nice bready malts. And uh, it's reasonably smooth. Not the smoothest lager by any means, but, you know, it's not bad. Very refreshing, very cr pretty crisp. Um, yeah, there's definitely a, uh, a slight bitterness to it. Um, yeah, definitely a, a bitterness to it right there. So there is a slight sweetness too, but um, actually it's not as bad as I remember it to be honest. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It's, uh, when you get it on tap for whatever reason, it's pretty brutal. It's got a very strong metallic taste to it, but, um, this doesn't have any metallic taste to it, really. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's not bad. Um, as I said before, this is an Australian icon beer, definitely the most recognisable. Um, you know, and it's, it's gained a, a good status, I guess, amongst, uh, younger and older drinkers alike, so... You know, I can understand why people like it. It's it's not bad. Not as bad as I remember it, so... Yeah, anyway, I'll give this another sip and give my final thoughts. Mm. You know what? That's not bad, eh? As I said, it's not as bad as I remember it. That's it's pretty good, man. Yeah, I could, uh... I typically won't go to it first, you know what I mean? I definitely have some... You know, if I was at RSL or something, this definitely wouldn't be my first choice. But, um, I'll tell you what, if there's nothing else there, I'd be happy with this. So, um, in conclusion, I'll give this a, um, man, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Not bad. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, because, uh, there'll be more videos coming along the way where I review beer, alcohol, wine, pretty much any booze that you can imagine. Um, so, yeah. Um, see you later.